as we drive around this mobile home park, you may likely notice uh, that these mobile homes may look a little bit different. Uh, the mobile homes are still single wides and double wides. The homes are still all ages from the 1970s to the early 2000s. Some of these mobile homes have T111 type of exterior siding or aluminum siding or vinyl siding. Uh, I even see some faux stone skirting around. Um, everyone has private parking lots and nice little front yards. This is certainly a higher end feeling and looking mobile home community. One of the things that makes this park a little bit more unique compared to most mobile home parks is that the mobile homes foundations are known as pit set or ground set types of foundations. If you didn't know what was going on underneath of the mobile home, you may likely think that the mobile homes are just resting on the level ground or the earth or a thin uh, piece of concrete pad that has been poured at ground level. In fact, if you were to look underneath the mobile home, you would see a two to three foot hole or pit dug underneath the entire mobile home. This open and level uh, pit in the ground is typically surrounded by a concrete or similar type of wall. Uh, more on that to come a bit later. Pit set mobile homes or ground set mobile homes can resemble more traditional site built houses. Uh, however, benefits do not stop at mere appearances. The entire underside of the mobile home is much more insulated compared to a traditional above ground mobile home, uh, more insulated against the cold weather, the wind, uh, animals that may want to get underneath the mobile home and do damage. However, pit set mobile homes are not ideal in every area of the country. In areas prone to flooding, these types of foundations can attract and collect water, leading to foundation problems, sinking mobile homes, stagnant water, severe mold problems, bugs, animals, etc. However, if you're in a relatively dry climate, a pit set mobile home uh, may be right for you. Keep in mind that if you're located inside of a pre-existing mobile home park, then you will likely not have much say in what type of foundation that your mobile home can have. Uh, the mobile home park itself and the local municipality is likely going to dictate what is acceptable. However, if you own your own land, uh, you likely have many, many, many more options. More on that to come at the end of today's video. Now here's an example of an empty pit where a double wide mobile home will soon go. The home will have a nice sidewalk going up to the front door uh, and it looks like the home will have a nice little private fenced backyard as well. Certainly this is something that you do not get in every mobile home park. This is definitely a four or five star mobile home community. By the way, if you wanna learn how to uh, rate mobile home parks one through five, I see a link in the description below. This newer double wide has just been moved into the park and is now resting on metal piers which are resting on hard plastic squares. More on that to come in just a bit, but as you can see here, the home just looks weird uh, at the moment. It's all exposed and it's kind of living in this hole. Now, let's take a closer look at the underside of this exposed double wide uh, underground mobile home. If you look quickly, you can see this mobile home's tongues. This mobile home has two tongues because it is a double wide and it was pulled into the mobile home park in two different sections. These orange corkscrew metal pieces that you see on the ground are actually the anchors that will go into the earth to keep the home tight and secured in place. Here you can get a good look of the spacing between each of the mobile home's metal piers supporting the entire weight of the mobile home. Now it may look like the mobile home is simply uh, balancing on these metal piers right up at the top. Uh, however, these metal piers have specifically designed metal brackets uh, at the top that grab onto the mobile home's iframe to prevent slipping. These metal piers sit on hard plastic engineered discs or uh, square pads that hold the mobile home's entire weight without breaking. In areas around the country with seismic activity, pit set mobile homes can oftentimes be a bit safer than mobile homes two or three feet above the ground. Here you can get a clear picture of the underside of this mobile home. It's simply the vapor barrier holding up the insulation uh, that's helping to keep out the animals, winds, uh, moisture from the inside of this mobile home. Take a look at this exterior air vent allowing airflow from underneath the mobile home to come out and also to go in. This air vent is built right into the pressure treated wood siding, uh, giving the mobile home even more support. Uh, packed dirt and gravel will now fill these empty spaces. You may already be asking yourself that if the mobile home is in a two to three foot deep uh, pit, how do we get underneath the mobile home if there's a burst in the water pipe or the waste pipe or the gas pipe? Uh, or anything else that desperately needs to be repaired. 
Uh, are we supposed to cut a hole in the floor uh, from inside the mobile home to get underneath of it? The answer is no, of course not. Uh, at the back of these pit set mobile homes, there's an access point that will allow for someone to crawl underneath the home uh, and to make repairs, uh, to even re-level the entire mobile home. This area where you can crawl around is known as a crawl space, of course. Thanks for sticking around. I hope that you learned something about mobile homes that, that you didn't know before. If you're still here, then I suppose that you likely have. Feel free to please hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, if you do own a mobile home and the land that the mobile home is attached to, uh, and you also are in an area of the country with not too many rules, uh, and you want to do some interesting things with mobile homes and basements, uh, here's a normal looking uh, vinyl sided mobile home that's sitting on cinder blocks, probably waiting for the vinyl sided to be added, just like 90% of the other mobile homes around the country. Uh, here's another one, very common and simple. Uh, it's just a mobile home resting on cinder blocks that are resting on the ground. Now, Here's where things get a bit cool. You can see this mobile home slowly being slid over the top of this pre-constructed open basement. Uh, here's another situation where the mobile home is being slid atop of this pre-made concrete reinforced foundation. Here's a double wide being moved uh, over a future basement. And when you're all done, you're left with something that looks pretty nice. Uh, definitely not like the traditional mobile home. Uh, however, again, these basement examples are possible only if you own the land as well. I sincerely hope this video was helpful and valuable. Thanks for watching uh, to the end of this video. You've uh, helped my uh, YouTube watch time algorithm. If you have any follow-up questions or suggestions, never hesitate to email me directly anytime at support at mobilehomeinvesting.net or go to mobilehomeinvesting.net for free mobile home investing videos and some tutorials and education. Uh, and of course, feel free to comment below as always. Uh, thank you again. Happy investing.